Hey guys, welcome to my video diary. Um, I am going to be recording my progress as I go through the Read Your Sign Challenge. And I think this will be fun because I'm going to be doing it at the end of the challenge, so I'd like to see where my progress was and where I got. Plus, I think you guys would like to see that as well. So the plan today is I just got my Dunkin' order. Ooh, I'm so excited to dive into that. I um, I got a coffee and then I got two of their wake up wraps because they're pretty small to eat. And then I also got their snack and bacon because I love the um, uh, sweet black pepper bacon, which is what it is. It's so good. And so yeah, so I'm going to eat and then I have my little stack of stuff here. So I am going to be reading my um, rolling number story, which is Hot Frog, because um, that'll be really quick. And then I also, on the side of this, am doing a book club with one of my best friends, Lizzie. Um, I'll link her profile then down below. She is um, at the Ginger Introvert on Minot, or yeah, on Minot, on Instagram. And she posts a lot of really awesome things. Uh, she does a lot of Instagram stories more than anything but she's really awesome. She's one of my best friends. She's a big reader as well. So we started our own book club that we've been doing in quarantine and just in general, just to make sure we keep in touch with each other. And we are reading Incantation by Alice Hoffman. Um, fun fact about this book, I actually read this before um, when I first got it, but it was like, I was in middle school at the time. I was like 13 or 14. So it's been forever. We both had the book and decided, well, why don't we read that? Um, so I'm gonna read that. We're actually gonna be finishing up the book um, soon because there's only like four chapters or something like that left so we figured just finish it and it's pretty easy too like it's a really thin book it's the print on it is pretty big so you can like finish a lot in a sitting but yeah so I'm gonna finish that and then as well as I started reading Anne Frank's diary um, as well before the challenge started so I want to try to finish that as well and like I said, I wanted to do one of the challenges today, so I figured Hot Frog's easy. It's only nine, um, nine pages, and it'll just be really quick. And then I don't know what I'm doing after that, so we'll just have to see. So I just finished eating, so now I am going to get into my reading today. Hot Frog, so I'm so excited. It's ugh, Getting back into Poe is amazing and I am looking forward to reading more after this uh, challenge is done or if I get my challenge finished early which will be very interesting if I do um, but yeah so let's get to it guys it's here Woo! So I just finished Hop Frog and it was really good. Of course, Edgar Allan Poe is amazing. I'm not gonna really discuss much about uh, the books in this video. I will be doing like a wrap up video then where I talk about how I enjoyed the books, what was my opinion of them. So at least that's my plan for now. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, right now I am going to be reading incantation next um i'm just going to be reading two of the four chapters that we need to complete just because i don't want to read it all and spoil myself but yeah and then i think after that i am going to go outside because it's really beautiful and i have these really beautiful roses that i want to be in front of right now um wild roses by the way so i think i'm going to do that and i'm going to read and Frank outside so i just finished reading my two chapters of incantation and it's it's very interesting how my friend and I started this book before the protests and all the riots happened and reading this it it kind of feels like that time th this time it was taken during the Spanish Inquisition um how it's kind of similar to what's going on right now in the world and it just it just makes me sad and I know I'm also reading Anne Frank, and that's something that's kind of similar to, um, sure, it might not be skin color, but both times were religion, and I don't know, my heart really hurts right now for anyone that has to deal 
with this issue of being different because of your skin color and being a target because of that. And I don't know. I just, I just think this world is, it's going to be different uh, from now on for the rest of our lives. And it's scary and I'm scared. And I support everybody that is protesting peacefully and the police officers who are siding with the protesters and who get that it's not right and definitely know that there's something that needs to change. What I don't like is the violence and what I don't like is people looting. That's not going to solve anything. And when I say violence, I mean violence on both sides. I'm not talking about the protesting side only. It's just my heart really hurts and I'm kind of really sad. But we're going to get through this. I hope there's some big change that comes out of this. I hope that we can get through this, especially with everything that's happened so far this year. It's just the world needs to heal and... I'm hoping that happens sooner rather than later. Look at my beautiful roses. And the And the moon. So yes, I decided to go outside and I'm reading Diary of a Young Girl and Frank. So don't know how much I'm going to get because um, Zach's going to be coming over then. So probably I might just read until he comes over and then I don't know. That might be the end of the day. We'll just see where it takes me. So. It's been fun so far. It's just the first day, but you know what? I'm really glad with all the reading I got done today. So I'll take it. So I just finished up reading Anne Frank, The Diary of a Young Girl. And I don't know, I really liked it. It definitely gave you insight into what it was like during wartime and especially for Jews in hiding. But there were a couple issues that I had with it. I felt like in some of the parts, she was a little bit spoiled, which I feel like if you're living during that time, you're just going to deal with um, what's going on and you kind of have to be grateful for everything. Um, but it was like little parts. It wasn't like throughout the whole book. And then the only other thing that bothered me was I th just pretty much that she kind of led Peter on or kind of just used him in a way. Um, I don't know. I just felt it felt really uncomfortable about that where she just kind of felt like, oh, well, I can just not like, like I can just kind of just shake him off instantly. I don't know. Maybe I read it wrong, but those were the only issues I had with it. But other than that, it was really good. I definitely want to go visit the museum sometime in my life before I die because I would like to go and see that um, and just to be in that kind of environment. And it might change my viewpoint on the book. I don't know, but I'm definitely glad I got to read it. Uh, but yeah. So now I don't know what I'm going to do next. Don't know if I'm going to read a new book or if I'm just going to wait until tomorrow um, in the morning to do my early reading one. So we'll see what happens. And yeah. Freaking Johnny cracks me up in the freaking background over there. <laughs> oh my God, he cracks me up. I love him dearly. And here we have the lovely Josette. Look at her. She's such a chunky bird girl. So welcome to day four of the Read Your Sign Challenge for the month of June. I haven't really been doing much lately. Um, I did just finish up reading a Diary of a Young Girl, Anne Frank. So I was spending the past couple of days reading that. And also I'm up really early this morning because I wanna try to get my early morning challenge out of the way which is to read at least 75 percent of a book between 5 a.m to 10 a.m so i'm hoping i'll get some of it done i don't know but i think i'm kind of too late on it but we'll see how it goes here i go going to be starting vampire's kiss so oh, i can't wait to have my first sip of coffee Now back to the book. So I sadly did not complete the challenge. It's 10.02 now. Um, 
dang it, I woke up too later than I wanted to, but then I also had to get a shower, so I kind of forgot I had to read early in the morning. I thought it was until 11 for some reason. But I did get to page 52, if I can show you the book. Yeah, so I did get to page 52, and I mean, that's a pretty good start. Um, I really kind of like it. It's cute. It's a little fast-paced, but you know what? With these kind of books, they're always fast-paced, which is fine. Um, I think I'm going to try this again next week. I'm going to pull another book off of my shelf that's a little bit easy and see if I can try to read that. Um, and I think I'm going to try to get up a little bit earlier. So maybe like instead of setting my alarm at 820, like go at 720 instead. Um, but yeah, kind of bummed it didn't work this time, but going to try again. I got this. Hey guys, so I am going to be trying to get up again here tomorrow at eight o'clock and I want to see if I can try to finish this book. I didn't really read a lot today. I read the first like five, six chapters and they're really skinny, but I'm pretty sure I could get this chunk done here and that's like 75% of the book I would say. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's the standard like paperback book from that the 80s and the 90s kind of like the you can guess what's going on kind of thing but yeah so I'm gonna try it again and see if it works um hopefully it will because I do not want to have to get up in the morning again I'm not a morning person so this is a really tough challenge but I'm determined if I can do this tomorrow that's gonna be so awesome for me so <sighs> I'm gonna read this chapter and then I'm gonna go ahead and get to bed so fingers crossed guys well, I was going to do my challenge this morning and my apartment decided to have other plans. Yay, leaking! So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sub out my books um, and just use another one for the really quick challenge of 75% of a book. So I'm gonna read this cute little book that I've had for a while now. I actually read it when I was little and it was a really cute story and I kind of am in the mood for a little cute lighthearted story so it's called ugh, sorry, The Fish in Room 11. It's a really cute story. It's about like this little boy. He becomes friends with this family of mermaids and people don't know that they're mermaids so he tries to like hide them so I don't know. It's a little cute lighthearted book. We, I kind of need that right now with everything going on in the world so I figured I'll do that one. Um, we're going to try it again tomorrow. <sighs> Sorry, as you can see, still tired, um, but I'm going to try it again and hopefully I won't be having any, any uh, rental problems, so yay. Hey guys, so I officially completed the challenge today. Whoo! So it's very weird. I had to split up my reading because I ended up falling asleep again, but I did read 75% of the book between yesterday and today. So I am very proud of myself. Um, but I swapped it out for the fish in room 11, which is this really cute little, um, I want to say it's middle grade, but it's not really even middle grade. Like, I read it in, like, fourth or fifth grade, so it's a really cute, like, um, small chapter book, and it's about this boy who lives in this hotel, and he meets a mermaid named Eliza and her family, and there's, an, there's something that happens, and he has to bring them into the hotel, and it's a really cute, like, crazy little book, um, the chapters are really quick. They're like two or three pages each, but it's a really cute book. And I've kept it all these years just because I remember I really enjoyed it reading it. And it's one I definitely want my kids to read. Um, and even me every once in a while, I like to read um, quick books sometimes. So that's one of the ones that I kept for my childhood and I'm always gonna be keeping on my shelf. My kids are probably gonna really enjoy it, especially if they like mermaids. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited that I finished that challenge and yay! Um, the book that I originally went and tried to complete the original challenge for was Vampire's Kiss, which this was interesting. The description on the back, the little like blurb to hook you in, was not even what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be these two people had been dating, like started recently dating, and weird stuff was going on with this one person. 
No, it's literally she met him and he just became this ghost that like helped her with hunting these vampires and the actual vampires. He's not really a vampire. And it was just like, I want to know who wrote this and fired them because that is not what the premise of this book is. Um, it did not come out the way I wanted to. I was very disappointed. I was really excited because I like these cute little love stories. Um, and they're just really quick reads too. So <sighs> I just was really disappointed and I am think I'm going to put this um, and to this one podcast I listened to called Teen Creeps. Um, definitely if you love this kind of like fiction books, like these pulp fiction books, um, definitely listen to their podcast. They read a lot of them and review them. Um, and not only that, they talk about like, they do movies and they have special guests sometimes that talk to them. They had, um, one of my favorite episodes they did was for Black Christmas, which is one of my favorite, favorite horror movies. Um, it, the original one is amazing it's so good um so that was one of my favorites listening to that it's just it's just kind of awesome to get their opinions and some of the stuff i would listen to the episodes and be like oh i forgot this happened in that book but yeah so i'm definitely going to send that to them and see if they'll listen they'll read it and uh talk about it on the podcast because for me that was not what i thought it was going to be and i kind of want to see what they think <laughs> um but yeah and update on the roof i think we are pretty much out of the water so my sink is not peeling anymore and or peeing i should say my sink is not peeing anymore my ceiling is not peeing anymore what what is wrong with me so yeah and it's just it's really interesting how this happened i will might have to talk about it in a video then but yeah, so I think what I'm going to read next is I think I'm going to go ahead and switch out the book I was going to read. I was going to start reading Goldfish, um, but I think I'm going to read um, X because of the Black Lives Matter protests going on. I feel like it's a book that I need to read, especially with Black History. Um, so definitely one that I want to read. And I think I might read Diamond, Diamond Boy after that. Um, just kind of like tick off all the um, Black authors that I have on my list. But I don't know. It might change depending on my mood. But I definitely know I think I want to get to X now um, with everything and just kind of educate myself a little bit more. And you can never not educate yourself more even if you know stuff. Um, I just feel like it just helps um, people like me understand what's going on. And hopefully it'll make it less scary for me because I'm kind of really scared of everything that's going on right now. Um, but you know what? I'm doing my best and I'm making sure that I'm supporting and I'm letting my friends know that I support them and I'm trying to sign petitions and donate where I can. So I'm doing my part and that makes me feel good. But yeah, so we'll see what happens for the rest of the day. I don't know if I'm going to have anything that I want to do, um, but I know my boyfriend's coming over, Zach's coming over. Um, we started watching all the Toy Story movies because I found out on... I think Wednesday or Thursday that Toy Story 4 is on Disney Plus so we just watched the first and the second one last night so we're gonna watch the third and the fourth one and then it is takeover in your house day Woohoo! so I'm really excited um Finn's got a match so gotta support my man I mean he is he is dreamy like oh and I met that man so if you want to know about that if you don't know about that and you want me to do a story time let me know I can give you a good story time so, <laughs> all right, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to sip on my Starbucks here. So, woohoo! That's how I feel right now. <laughs> so, I just got my Once Upon a Book Club Young Adult box, and look at it. It is really cute. It's like a book. Pages and everything. That's so adorable. So, um, if you don't know what Once Upon a a book club is it is a book subscription box where you get a book and it's the book of the month for the club and then you also get little gifts that you can open as you go through the pages so I was really I've been waiting for this box and I'm so excited I finally have it so this is my first time I've gotten this box so I'm really excited to see what's in it so let's go ahead and open it up Ooh. As you can see, this has its read, discuss, share, and there's their hashtag for Instagram. And this is the stuff that's in the box. So what do we got here? So it says, to fully start this box, remember to only open your gifts once you search the attached page numbers. And it's a little pamphlet. Oh, well, that's really cute. I guess it tells you a little bit about the May box. So that's awesome. I'll have to read that. 
because this, oh, it's a little art piece. It says, sometimes I pretend my life is happening inside of a book. Oh, I love that. So it's a little cute art print. Looks like we got a little letter from the reader or letter from the author there. Or maybe it's from the person in charge of Once Upon a Book Club. So there's a letter. And then, let's see what we got. So we got, no, there's a little coupon there. Looks like it's a tea subscription box. I didn't even know something like that existed. So that's cool. And then it looks like we're getting to the book here. So buy the book by Amanda Sellitz, a novel of pros and cons. This looks really cute actually. And it's a nice hardback too. I love that. So as you can see, it's a really nice copy too. And ooh, I'm not gonna have fun. So yeah, as you can see, when you get to certain pages, they have little sticky notes that tell you to open your book up. So when you get to that part, you open whatever gift pertains to it and it helps you get into the story. So it looks like I have one. We've got two, three. Oh, I like that little pouch. And four. So it looks like I got four gifts in here really cool so yeah I'm not going to open them up like I said because you want to read it with the book so I'm just gonna put everything back where it was packaged there's so many cool things in here like I'm really excited about this but I think I want to read the summary on here to see if this is something anyone likes so <clears throat> Let's see what this is here she knows how all the stories end except her own as a devotee of classic novels, Mary Porter Malcolm is a walking encyclopedia of mistakes that have been made, especially by her favorite literary heroines. So when some new friends seem in danger of falling from the same tricks employed since the days of Austin and Tolstoy, Mary starts compiling the scoundrel's survival guide using archetypes of literature's debonair bad boys to spot red flags in the dating department. But despite her best efforts, she soon finds herself falling for a supposed cad, the same one she warned her friends away from. Without a convenient rain-swept moor to flee to, Mary is forced to admit that real life doesn't follow the same rules as fiction, and if she wants a happy ending, she's going to have to ditch the books and write it herself. Oh, I like this! That sounds like a really great premise! Oh, I love that. And the cover is just so really pretty. I love it. Let me see what it looks like naked. Oh, it's really pretty in purple, guys. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. That's a little bit more purple. But yeah, it just is really cute. I can't wait to read this. So yeah, I think I'm definitely excited to get my next box. I think I'm going to keep getting boxes now from them because this is really nice. I'm so excited. <laughs> But yeah, and I like how too it says the Once Upon a Book Club book selection sticker on there, the 2020 selection. I think that's cool. So, but yeah, there you go, guys. That's a little bit of that box. So, um, definitely if you want to check it out, um, you want to go to a Once Upon a Book Club box, which is the Instagram, and you can go through the links there to subscribe. So, I hope some of you guys start this. This would be really cool. Maybe if I get a whole bunch of you guys that want to do it, um, we could do like a little reading club or something like that. But yeah, it's really awesome. I love it. 